in landscape photography there is one term that really uh, improves your uh, photographs pretty fast actually and that is the term less is more. Um, if you simplify a scene by leaving things off, by zooming in, by cropping a bit, uh, it often improves your images uh, a lot if it gets clear what your subject is. And in last week's video I edited uh, files from the people watching this channel. Uh, you've sent files to me massively so again thanks for sending them and I'll put a link up to that video up here. But what I read in the comments underneath that video is that people really were amazed what a bit of simplifying could do to an image. And what I want to do in this video, I want to show you with my own images uh, how I simplify scenes and how I look at it and that it doesn't work all the time. So let's dive into this video and I will show you some examples on how you can improve your images by just leaving stuff out of the image. So about two weeks ago I started an on location video where I wasn't too happy with this particular image and I already showed you with some arrows uh, what I thought was wrong with it uh, especially this foreground leaning a little bit to the left uh, this tree on the left side blocking the light the light comes from the left top corner so it hits this tree and what you automatically do is you watch the tree on the left and not the rest of the image and I just really didn't like that although I like the atmosphere in this image but at that moment on location I started walking around a little bit moved a little bit to the right and I found this much simpler composition you know this beautiful tree still this beautiful atmosphere light and fog and those few ducks in the bottom and it's just a much simpler scene and much easier to watch this image and I got a lot of these examples in this video so uh, join me and uh, you will see a lot more of them. I'll put a link up to this video up here if you haven't seen it. It's some amazing uh, conditions. So this is another scene. I just wanted to capture this beautiful snow trees and these trunks on the bottom but it just didn't work. It became way too messy and when I put it into a portrait orientated shot you can see that those branches in the bottom they move towards this tree and up and that's actually what you want. So now I have two main focal points, the trees here with this beautiful sunrise in the background. So the scene just got uh, way easier to, uh, yeah, to show to your audience. This is another image from uh, last Sunday's video. Um, yeah, I was a bit distracted by this little tree in the foreground here. You know, it doesn't fit right between those trees. It just uh, didn't look right and I could have cloned this tree out but I just decided to zoom in a little bit you can see it's just the back scene here I, I think I moved to the right to the left a little bit to exclude that little tree and then shot this image you know it's actually the same trees but a little bit of a different position made this image much simpler and much more in balance yeah this was a beautiful moment and when I shot this image I was so happy and I thought oh this is amazing but when I was looking at it I thought yeah where is my eye pulling to you know you have this lit up tree on the right side this lit up tree here uh, lit up top here the top here is lit up so your eye is going around this image thinking what am I supposed to look at but when I zoomed it in and put it into a portrait oriented shot it got a much simpler and better shot and especially when those two geese here in the bottom swim into the frame, it just came to life, you know. And it's just so much better than the wide angle shot that I shot earlier. This actually is also a telephoto shot, but I mean the landscape oriented shot. So, and that's one thing I can and tell you. If you come across a scene that you are really, really happy with, don't stop with one shot. Always try a horizontal and a portrait shot. Just try something different so that you always have stuff to play with when you come uh, at home and uh, start the post processing scene. This one is from my road trip uh, in Switzerland and when I shot this image uh, this is a good example where I didn't use a portrait and a horizontal shot. So I shot this HDR shot at that uh, point and I was just really happy with it. But when I got back home, I felt a little bit distracted by this left side and this road leading towards the 
stop here and not towards the mountain in the back where I think the, the viewer's eye should have gone. So I started cropping a bit in post-processing and I just cropped away a part of the left and a part of the right side. And it's a much better image. Now your eye goes along this coastline here into the background to this beautiful mountain and not to this road. If you look at this image, my eye is pulled to this road and that's not the most strong part of this image. So you can do it in post-processing or on location. In this case, I did it in, in post-processing. This is an image from a really long time ago. Uh, it's in Namibia and I was so proud of this image and I really liked it. But when I started going through my files years later, I actually got away with this uh, scene and I really like it. And it's maybe it's not 100% sharp, but I just want to show you that the composition is much simpler, but still it's very strong. You know, you have this beautiful light and the image is still about this tree here. And if you look at this image, it's much more about oh, what's in the foreground here. And then you're noticing this tree. And with this image, you have this beautiful bulldoze and this tree. You know, I think these have both have their own right of existence. But yeah, you can doubt on what is the best uh, option here. Yeah, a good way to simplify scenes, you know, uh, is to use a zoom lens on this occasion. Uh, this was the Halo season last year. And I wanted to capture these beautiful uh, colored trees within purple header. And I was trying some wide angle stuff here, but it's just way too distracting. There's too much going on in this scene. So I zoomed in a little bit and this got way better. Uh, still, there are some layers, but what's missing in this image is a clear focal point. You know, your eye still keeps wandering around this image. What am I looking at? So finally, I decided to zoom in just a little bit further and I got up with a tree on top of a hill and it's beautifully lit up from the back and I just really love that. Now you can see all these layers, uh, the sunrise, this beautiful tree and it's just in balance and especially because the, the colors of the sunrise here were yeah, matching those uh, leaves on the street. This isn't the best shot and that's because of this little bush here behind this uh, tree. Uh, I don't really like the position there. It would have been better if this was really separated from everything. But sometimes you just uh, can't have it all. But I was really happy with this shot uh, that morning. Another great example of uh, simplification. Uh, I shot this landscape shot and I was amazed by this uh, image. Um, what I wanted to do, I wanted to use this peninsula here on the right side to point towards the sun. You have this island pointing towards there and those grasses as a foreground, uh, this tree reflection with uh, uh, a little bit of, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, mosses or something in the water here. And I just thought foreground, midground, background, but somehow it didn't work. And this is one of the first times that I uh, started to push myself into shooting two images of the same location because I walked to the left a little bit after this image and I shot this portrait oriented shot which is way better and way simpler. You have this island leading towards here, you have these grasses leading in a triangle shape up to the sun and it's just way simpler than the other shot and there's also a lot more atmosphere in this zoomed version. Yeah, here are two images that actually really work on their own. You know, this is exactly the same scene, actually. You can see this fog in this valley. So your eye gets pulled to this brightest part of the image, which is this fog. And then you start looking around. Oh, yeah, there are beautiful hills. The heather is in bloom. There's some beautiful sunlight coming into this image. But a couple of minutes later, the sun just came over the edge of those hills in the background. And it started hitting this fog in this valley. And that's the moment when I noticed that I had to simplify the scene. So I actually zoomed into this part here. I think I moved a little bit to the left to exclude this little bush here. And I came away with my best shot of last year. And yeah, I just really, really love this atmosphere in the scene. And it's just so uh, simple. You know, there's nothing going on. It's all about this golden fog. And it just works, you know, it's 
the same part as this just a couple of minutes later and it turned into this so if i would have uh, shot this i think that i would never have caught this this atmosphere that was in that part if you use the wide angle lens so with a telephoto lens zooming in you can really catch this this atmosphere yeah and sometimes it's just in little details you know uh, i released this uh, image last week and uh, my friend walter he texted me and he said to me oh why did you leave this tree on and actually i didn't even notice it so this tree on the left side here uh, i think he was totally right so i went back into lightroom and I cropped this, uh, the scene a little bit. And you can see it's not much, but it just gets a little bit more balanced, you know. Uh, somehow you start noticing this tree when you look at this image. But with this image, it's all about the center, about uh, the, the tree, the mist, the fog above the water. And if you're talking about details in an image that, that really matter, uh, look at this image and i was really really excited about this image you know i i'll put a link up to this video it's the video from two weeks ago and it was such a stunning moment this light was absolutely amazing and i just got a little bit caught in this scene and i actually came away with this uh, beautiful image of this tree but in fact i just totally missed that there was a tree behind this image you know i should have moved a little bit to the left so that this tree would have been behind this tree and you wouldn't have seen it but i totally missed it in the moment you know these things happen to all of us you know it happens to me to you to to anybody who does photography but luckily it was a real easy fix in post-processing to get rid of this tree and uh yeah because of this mist and fog it just doesn't matter you know there's not much details in that position but still, when I got away of this tree, it just turned into such a balanced, beautiful image. Yeah, I just really like this. So this is an example that you can uh, look at the, the wrong uh, subject on location. You know, I went to this forest. There was this uh, stream through the forest at autumn. And all these uh, colored leaves fell into the water streaming downwards. And I just wanted to capture this this movement in the water with these uh, uh, leaves in the water and i just walked around there for maybe two to three hours that morning uh, shooting stuff like this and i just wasn't satisfied with anything that i shot that morning and then at one point i just noticed this leaf and it was hanging above the water so there was a little bit of a hill and this branch just grew over the water so i just climbed up this hill pointed the camera down onto this leaf and i just got away with this image and it's totally different than what i wanted to shoot that morning but it was one of the best images of that year i think this was two or three years ago maybe and i still really like uh, this particular image and i think this is an example that you don't have to uh, don't stare onto one image don't stare onto one subject just keep your eye open for anything you can find for a beautiful uh, image. Uh, another example of uh, simplifying a scene that you can't always do it at that moment. You know, this is in, uh, I think it's in December last year. Uh, I went there with uh, a couple of people from my uh, photo club and I shot this image, which was actually pretty nice. But about a year before that, I was at the same area and I used the conditions that were presented to me to simplify the scene. And that moment there was a lot more snow. There was wind, there was uh, hail, there was mist. And I just used it to shoot this. And as you can see, it's exactly the same trees as in this image, but it's just so much simpler. And I didn't turn this into a black and white. I'll, in fact, I'll put a video, a link to the video up here. Uh, this is just how the scene was, you know, it was snow, it was mist, it was wind, it was a terrible day and you can see it when you when you watch the video that I just uh, put up there. And uh, yeah, it was one of my most epic trips, but this image, uh, at first I didn't really like it, but it started to grow on me and now it's one of my favorite, uh, my all time favorite images uh, at the moment. And yeah, what I want to show is that uh, 
zooming into an image isn't always the solution to, to simplify a scene. You know, you can make a, a scene too simple. Just like this, I wanted to catch this beautiful sun grow, uh, yeah, coming up towards the, or towards through the uh, beautiful mist. And uh, I captured this image, but it just was way too simple. You know, it's that there's nothing else to do. But if you zoom out a little bit and you include a bit of a tree, yeah, then you get a beautiful atmosphere into an image. So simplifying isn't always the solution. And another example uh, is this image where I, my, my attention was really pulled by this, uh, yeah, uh, tree trunks in this little bit of fog. And I just wanted to capture the color of that fog and I was focused on it. And I think I took maybe 40 or 50 shots like this. And when I looked away from the camera, because I was just turning the camera around, uh, searching for the best uh, possible shot that I uh, could find with this. And at one point I just put the camera away and I was looking at it with my own eyes. And I thought to myself, I am using the wrong lens here. So I've put on a 12 to 40 lens and I shot this image. It's exactly the same scene, exactly the same position, but just zoomed out and it just created this image. So simplifying isn't always the solution, you know, it's all about the balance. And in this image, although I don't think it's actually really nice, but yeah, this is. So don't stare at a simplified scene. Just keep your eye up the, the larger uh, area that you can look at. Uh, think of all possibilities at a moment. Think of a wide angle lens, a telephoto lens, a horizontal one, a portrait one. There's always more opportunities uh, to see when you're standing in a beautiful situation. Uh, this is another a great example from, from years ago, maybe five or six years ago. And I just was caught up by this beautiful sky here and I wanted to use this S-curve uh, reflective eyes here in the foreground, um, which was really nice. But when I zoomed, out a little bit I got away with this image and, and that was one of my favorite images from that year and actually one of the first landscape images that I uh, that I took uh, this was about the turning point where I turned from wildlife and birds into landscape photographer and I just love this scene and until now I have never seen such a beautiful red sky as in this image and this is another example of how you uh, can add something to an image to, to put in a little bit more drama. You know, uh, at first you're thinking this is a real simple scene, a boat flowing in towards this storm here. But if you add just a little bit of land on the right side, you can see that this storm is approaching the land and turning over this boat. And uh, the, the scene just, it, it gives a little bit more dimension to the scene. although it isn't as simple anymore because we, we added a subject, but still this image works really well. And it's the same for this situation where I photographed this beautiful island in the mist, uh, beautiful sunlight coming through. But if you zoom it out, you can get a beautiful panorama of actually the same because this is the scene we just saw. And this is an example that sometimes images can stand on their own, you know, uh, you can you can shoot uh, simplified scenes, wide angle scenes at the same moment. So keep your eye open to everything that is around uh, an image and especially on these locations, we're always focused on the front, but don't forget sometimes to look behind you. I've, I've had it so many times that when I started to to look around a bit, I almost missed some beautiful uh, shots there. Another example from Scotland where I was shooting this minimalistic uh, abstract shot with these reflective trees with a little bit of fog coming through it. But the best shot is actually with a wider angle lens. Uh, this is just a zoomed in version from this part here on the right side of the image where you can see these birch trees. But this image was just beautifully balanced and I had a lot of uh, discussion with people about this rock here in the foreground. Uh, some people say I have to clone it out. I just like it. I don't know why, 
but uh, somehow it it just shows that it is water you know that it isn't yeah a, a photoshop clone or anything this was just the way it was and it was uh, one of the most amazing images uh, from uh, from last year and sometimes it's even getting more difficult like in this shot i just noticed this beautiful tree in the mist and i decided to to zoom it in and only focus on this tree and i just thought to myself this is just a little bit too simple so i zoomed it out and i got up with this beautiful image but this lake came into the image when i zoomed it out and i didn't like it because it's so bright that my attention gets pulled to this lake every time so i added something that's distracting from the image so in this particular case i think the best image is right in between this and this image and that's the last shot that's this one which just shows the tree and some layers here you have foreground midground background uh, and it's totally different from the two you saw in front here so you have a zoomed in version a zoomed out version and a somewhere in between version and in my opinion this one works best because it's it's a balanced shot there's more interest than only this tree and yeah it just works uh, really well that is the last uh, image of this video so i hope i showed you a little bit more uh, of these examples uh, how you can simplify a scene uh, how you uh, yeah uh, how you can say less is more but how sometimes more is also better uh, it's always finding the balance in an image and uh, that's i think that the most important uh, lesson to learn and just to keep an open mind you know uh, don't focus on one subject uh, look around you uh, and imagine all possibilities at that point and try to force yourself to uh, if you have an image that you think this is going to be a cracker one push yourself to take multiple angles of the same subject and that really helped me because i've been there a lot of times when i shot an image in a particular way and i got back home and i thought to myself i should have shot a portrait orientated one and I just didn't do it and that's one lesson that I can give you force yourself to do that and you will definitely get away with a lot more winners so thanks for watching this video I hope you really liked it uh, I actually really liked making this video so uh, I hope you did too uh, please leave a comment what you think of it and uh, if you have uh, learned or gained anything from it so don't forget push the thumbs up button if you like this video and uh, this Sunday there is going to be another epic foggy adventure so uh, don't forget to miss that and if you don't want to miss it please push the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you push that and select all you will get a message when I release uh, my next video so thanks for watching hope to see you this Sunday bye now